in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 I confess to all my God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty and merciful God, grant we pray that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ, and attain with them eternal glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Paran, Send men to reconnoitre the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. After reconnoitering the land for 40 days, they returned, met Moses and Aaron and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran at Kadesh, made a report to them all and showed the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. They told Moses, we went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Anakim there. Amalekites live in the region of the Negev. Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands, and Canaanites along the seacoast and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses, said, We ought to go up and seize the land, for we certainly can do it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We cannot attack these people, for they are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, the land that we explored is a country that consumes its inhabitants, and all the people we saw there are huge, veritable giants. The Anakim were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, so we must have seen to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night, the people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, How long will this wicked assembly grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them, by my life, says the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in scouting the land. Forty years shall you suffer for your crimes, one year for each day. Thus you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to do this to all this wicked assembly that conspired against me. Here in the desert they shall die to the last man. The word of the Lord. I thank you. The responsorial psalm is number 106. Remember us, Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes, we have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. 
Remember us, O Lord, as you have for your people. But soon they forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel. They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember us, O Lord, as you have for your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you have for your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you have for your people. And behold, a Canaanite woman in that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the last sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith, that it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be thou forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed John Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you made through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you were to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gain for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We are blessed as Catholics have the saints and their great call.
thoughts about the Eucharist. Sister Saint Faustina, she said, one thing alone sustains me, and that is Holy Communion. Jesus concealed in the host is everything to me. From the tabernacle I draw strength, power, courage, and light. Here I seek consolation in time of anguish. I would not know how to give glory to God if I did not have the Eucharist in my heart. Every morning during meditation, I prepare myself for the whole day's struggle. Holy Communion assures me that I will win the victory, and so it is. I fear the day when I do not receive Holy Communion. The spread of the strong gives me the strength I need to carry on my mission and the courage to do whatever the Lord asks of me. The courage and strength that are in me are not of me, but of him who lives in me. It is the Eucharist. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May all the Jeopardies give me praise by singing down the third of honor like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until we come unto Him. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph our spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, prepare us, we pray, for the eternal joys through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.